guys i hope you all are doing very very well this fine afternoon <laughs> uh welcome back to my vlogs and i have finally gotten my period yesterday i got it like right after i finished my practice while i was heading for shower and um i just got done with my meditation my silent period meditation and uh since i'm not going to be practicing any yoga today let me share with you guys a little bit about my period journey what i do on my period and how i have changed that over the years so i just got done with my meditation that is a new thing that i started just last month when i was realizing that for 5 6 7 months i used to not do any of my meditations or my practice yoga practice while i was on my period because i used to think that i'll give myself a break from everything for these 5 days of the month and um the idea was nice to give myself a break and it's still nice and it is still what i do but i realized over time that with meditation i don't really need a break and i realized and i started noticing that the five days that i am not chanting and i am not meditating and i am not doing the yoga also i okay so as i was saying that uh, i came to notice that in those five days when i was not doing my meditation or my yoga practice which by the way are the two things that really help me uh balance out my thoughts manage my thoughts manage my day manage everything in life basically so i realized and noticed that at the end of those five days i ended up feeling very very uh confused very groggy very clouded in my head is because for five days i'm not doing any of my practices and on the contrary on those five days all i'm doing is resting and eating and um, that is when i realized last month i didn't realize like that is when i thought last month that i really don't want that and i would like my thoughts at least to be aligned and i wouldn't like to like rest for five days and overthink so <clears throat> just last month i tried doing my meditation silently that was the origin of my silent meditation <laughs> because uh, you cannot chant om like you should not you can obviously but you should not chant om <coughs> <coughs> while you're on your period why because the flow of the blood during your period is from up to down and uh, while you chant when you chant om and a lot of the other mantras also the flow of the energy is from down to up So when you chant Om, the sound travels from your stomach through your spine and into your head. So it contradicts with the flow of your period, and that is why you should not chant it when you're on your period. But then I thought to myself, if I can't chant it, I can maybe do it silently, right? So that's what I tried doing on my period last uh, month, and uh, to my surprise. I felt so good after uh, I want to take my words back to not my surprise because I'm at this point not surprised by just how much my meditations helped me but uh, yeah it made me feel so much better I my thoughts were aligned and I'll tell you a very interesting thing so I'll tell you this thing I noticed this today and I noticed this last month also but it got reaffirmed this month since last month was the first time i did it so uh, i had always read and i always talked about how your period time is a time for introspection it's a time when you should retreat from the world you should retreat from everything around and go inward look into yourself how your month has been how your life has been in the past one month and anything and everything that you need to sort out with yourself this is the time to do it and um this 
being said is like a little easier than it is to practice it in real life and uh, i had one very great opportunity lined up for today i had a session with four people four new people who could have been my clients but i had to cancel it because i got my period and um, a usual reaction to such a thing which most females would have is that they will feel um, sad they will feel angry and disappointed at their period they start cursing it that why did you have to come right now it's clashing with such a big opportunity of mine but um, like i told you in an earlier video i am self employed but i also like to think that i am employed by nature and this really is nature's way to tell you to rest and to just take time off for yourself and so i cancelled that session for today and i place my faith in the universe about that i am taking this time off for myself because i worked very very hard the entire month i know that even on my period i feel like taking a class so i know that and um, i'm telling that to myself so that i'm at peace with myself for not being able to work today and i am placing my faith in the universe in something bigger than me because i cannot be the biggest thing that exists there has to be something you want to call it mother nature you want to call it god if you don't want to call it that you can call it the universe i like to call it the universe and mother nature and um, it is the universe's way of telling you to honey take some time out for yourself you deserve it you have worked hard the entire month another thing i noticed i didn't tell you the first thing i noticed so the first thing i noticed was that yes like i said i have always talked about how period time is a time for introspection i've noticed in my silent meditations that it is a lot easier for me to connect in my meditation when i'm on my period and i noticed this last month when i could do it silently with so much ease and then during this month there were a couple of times when i've tried to do it silently since the beginning and it did not come to me with so much ease and um, today i again did it on my period and it again came to me with so much ease and i feel like maybe because this time is for introspection itself maybe the meditations maybe aligning with yourself comes easier and uh, what i did in my meditation was i did not try to forcefully take deep breaths i took breaths as they were coming as shallow or as deep they were and then trying to align my own with it and i noticed that over the count of a few chants a few silent chants it um, my breath got deeper it got slower and uh, my cramps were feeling a little better also and uh, this is the second thing i wanted to tell you about about period cramps now this is one thing that i have been struggling with my entire life i have always had the worst period cramps ever I used to take painkillers. I started taking them since a very young age, ninth, tenth grade. So that's what, fourteen, fifteen years old. And um, I just have the worst luck with period cramps. I used to be at home with my hot water bag all day when I used to get my cramps. There was one time when I started crying in the classroom, putting my head down because my head, my because my stomach was hurting so much. But uh, over that time and from that time to this time there's a few things that i have adopted and i have learned about period cramps so firstly i stopped taking any medication for period cramps <laughs> yes and uh, i just wanted to do a chemical detox for my body no allopathic medicine so i stopped taking uh, any painkillers about a year ago year and a half and um to be very honest it's not been a smooth ride since then but now at this point i can say that it was totally worth it every period after that was totally worth it so the pain that i had been suppressing with the painkillers and with everything else over the years 
of course it doesn't go anywhere so it had to come out and um in the first two or three months my period was quite painful i really had to like struggle with it but i kept myself going i told myself i'm only doing this for myself and to this point coming to this point there's a few things that i have learned that i would really like to share with anyone who's trying to get off painkillers and just be natural with their period which will be really helpful for you is that uh, first i've noticed that period cramps are worse when you try to lie to yourself saying that today I'll rest but then you take off some work so your cramps will be really bad on that day that does not have any logic to it but it's just something that i have noticed happening a lot so yeah be honest with yourself and uh, be okay with it take some rest take some rest at least for the first 2 days of your period next thing food is directly related to your period cramps so i've noticed that the period in itself is not painful the period in itself does not bring any cramps to me as such of course there's like that little feeling in my lower abdomen but no cramps as such so what it does do is that it makes the uterine lining more sensitive it makes the lower abdomen in general more sensitive during these five days especially on the first two days and um, whenever you put something okay so if you're hungry you'll feel your cramps a little because of the gas in your stomach from too much hunger if you've eaten something that makes your stomach gassy the gas is going to push against your stomach walls which is going to push against your uterus and you're going to feel cramps getting worse third thing if you eat something that causes you bloating then it's going to worsen your cramps and that is what happened with me yesterday and uh, i thought i'd figured it out but no uh it's not yet so i had a nice uh, <clears throat> healthy toast yesterday i had my favorite sesame toast yesterday and uh, my stomach went like it was feeling quite nice after that it sat well with my stomach and uh, soon after i felt like eating something uh, watery something refreshing but it was already 8 8:30 pm and uh, i had a marshmallow in the fridge and i've always been a fan of marshmallow bowls <laughs> because they're like the easiest to make and most refreshing so because i'd eaten so much bread i wanted to eat something like watery and hydrating refreshing i uh, <clears throat> blended up the marshmallow and i chopped it up i blended it up and i had that bowl and uh, that triggered the cramps yesterday and it was hard to believe but that was the thing that did it not because it was a fruit or it was a bowl or it had seeds because i had uh, consumed it at 9 9:30 pm and having fruits after sundown is a big no if you did not know this already i knew it and yet i went for it and i saw the repercussions my cram- my cramps were really bad after that even when i went to bed uh my cramps were quite bad i could not fall asleep at first then i did fall asleep and i kept waking up throughout the night because of the pain i woke up at 7 or 8 this morning because of the cramps because i just could not stay in bed anymore i was not getting any good sleep at least so i got up i had some water water is a big thing while you're on your period so always have loads and loads of water cramps really get affected by it but don't have too much water to find a balance is not that easy but uh, yeah i woke up i had some water i made myself some nice uh, fennel tea some soft tea which i really like as i've told you guys before it is something that is really cooling on the stomach and it's also warm when you're sipping it and uh, it's quite nice for the period also another tea that i absolutely love for the period is lemon grass tea but i do not have any lemon grass with me today so yeah but that works like a charm when i i'm having like really bad cramps so herbal teas are a win win for period cramps and uh, yeah i got up i had my tea i went to the bathroom 
clear of my stomach and um, that made me feel a little better and it, I was just roaming about the house for 10-15 minutes and I came back to bed and I slept in for as long as I could and uh, then I woke up at 12.30 today because it's my day off really so I'm not running late I'm not behind schedule I'm on and off that's why I woke up at 12.30 and in order for me to get on that same page with myself <laughs> I had to do my meditation this morning so yeah there's that oh and one more thing oh I keep forgetting things but I don't think I should share everything in today's video because tomorrow also I'll have my period but I think I'll tell you guys this today is that uh, another reason why I feel like I feel groggy and not so clear at the end of my five days when I was not meditating is because I don't know why I have not told you guys this yet but after I finish my chanting I also like get my hands together at the heart center <laughs> and uh, I say gratitude I say five six things five is a minimum some days I feel more grateful I say more but five things that I'm grateful for and five affirmations that I wish to tell myself every morning so that I start my day with that thought process so on those five days when I was not doing that I was also not having this conversation with myself about gratitude about my affirmations and I think that was also a factor that was affecting it too much and uh, yeah I think that is it for today's video I'll tell you guys a little more about the gratitude and affirmations tomorrow and uh, I think I'm gonna go have some period munchies now be very wary of the munchies that you do have make sure to have tasty food but make sure to also keep your stomach in mind and uh, keep your health in mind it's just five days you can control yourself it's okay <laughs> so that is it for today's video i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye